guys here welcome to my channel um, it's been a while with you guys all right so in this video I'm just going to I'm going to show you how to build a simple boat all right there are different way uh, I mean binary boats sorry the reef boats are they still mean the same thing or they, they mean the same thing all right so I'm going to teach you how to build a simple boat on uh, the reef and um, building a boat a trading boat is a way of automating your strategy or automating your trading and uh, Building a boat on the reef doesn't need you to understand any line of code. Even if you do, if you do, uh, it's better for you. But if you don't, you can still build a boat because it's uh, uh um, it's operates with just uh, normal logic and English. So it could have it has um, some level of um, uh, understanding of uh, of logic and coding and how coding pattern works. Especially those who understand Fortran well enough, you can actually. Uh, build a bot on this platform, but uh, it needs uh, some level of experience and that depends on the complexity of the bot that you are building So if you the bot you are building is not uh, as complex. It's not that complex uh, You don't need uh, to do much. All right, so I'm just going to teach you how to build a simple bot All right on the reef interface. All right, so now let's uh, Hear you if you click here this D trader you see D bot. All right click on the bot Alright, so we are doing this on the demo account. You know, it's not good to while you are building a boat, it is not good enough to build it on uh, a Ray account because when you build it on a Ray account, you are going to exhaust a lot of money. So you build it on demo accounts such that when you are done, you can test it as many times as possible so that uh, after you are done testing, you can take it to Ray account. Alright. So here we are on the demo, uh, uh, the demo. When you get onto the demo, this is the first thing you see. We have, uh, you see, about four blocks loaded. We have uh, uh, three parameters: one, and then two purchase, and then three sell, and and four restart. All right. So if you actually press this, it will actually start uh, something, but but it's not. It will actually start trading, but. It's risky, you can see. One just got lost now, and you, and you keep on doing that for you, so you wouldn't want that to happen, all right? So you're actually going to, I'm going to show you the basics to you need to know, all right, to be able to, you know, build a board uh, for yourself, all right? The, like the basic for anyone, okay? I will not talk about the complexity, all right? So where you, all the parameters you be needing, the blocks you be needing to build your board. Uh, on this left pane here all right so uh, before I go on I need to just describe the interface so if this video is long enough I'm going to cut it and then make a part two of this video all right so uh, this is the uh, block section where you you get all the blocks you need all the tools you need to build a boat all right then uh, the, the tabs the top tabs are this one is for uh, reset like if I reset this now whatever I've added to this Will be refreshed all right whatever i've added or removed to be refreshed to this initial all right this is just a framework you're looking at right here and then here is to upload all right if i have a build bot already like i could uh, statistically upload them from my laptop or from my google drive all right so if it's from my device or let's say i've built a board and uh, you can see some good list of them here and the bot build on this uh platform is saved in xml file all right this is save button now if i make any changes to my board i can directly save it to my local the local that's my laptop or yeah my laptop or to my google account that is if it's, it is connected then here is to do undo and here is to redo here is to you know rearrange your board here is to zoom in and zoom out uh, why here this whole interface here is the working ground then here is the testing section where you see the result you see the trading uh, message transaction that took place and then you see the message displayed all along all right so here is when you want to run it if you just press the button and then the bot begins running so let's get started all right so first of all i'm going to delete this entire block uh, delete this all right delete this and then delete this and delete this all right so uh, this we are left with just an empty interface so
so now first of all the first thing we need to do is uh, this we have to look for to build a simple board uh, we are working on the you know uh, the simple strategy uh, rise and fall you know there are a whole lot of strategies here and you can build a board on this whole lot of strategies right here all right but they operate differently and the the more deeper you know about this the better because uh, there are some actually some board that i personally have built for myself that i can't just release it like that because i have to you know you know it's my personal trading board okay uh and there are some that i have released into the market and if y'all uh, check them out and they are really very good uh there's a lot of testimony about them so now first you click here you click here you see this uh tab one this is parameter one like we say now this tab here is where you define your uh the market you want to be working with all right volatility uh indices and then uh, uh both are normally very good on indices okay let me say volatility 10 okay is what we're building both on and the strategy of the both on is uh, rise and fall all right which is already chosen here now if i want to build the boat to work on only uh the four i can choose here or only the rise i can choose here. but if it's the boat i can choose here all right so let me say i want this boat to work on the both side all right then the candle intervals i'll suggest to leave it at two minutes uh, at one minute all right to make it a, a bit faster then here uh here says on check uh reset or buy also error disable error performance all right so just leave that as it is there all right so now uh first of all the next thing that i'm going to choose here now is uh purchase contract on uh, when i'm choosing purchase contract this is what you need to know okay now already remember with the first thing we chose here was this and then the next thing we are going to choose here is the duration drag duration here and then fix it here now duration tells how long like the number of times how long like how long should the trade be let's say you want to trade in one minute two minutes three minutes four minutes now i always leave uh let's say five ticks all right you, you can change the value here to five ticks and then here let's say we want it to be taken to two dollars and then the next thing here okay that's for frame one that's for frame one this frame one is mainly to define our our trade all right we are going to like on a complex boat a lot of things could be fixed in here a lot of things a lot i mean a lot of things could be fixed could be fixed in here all right so but for a simple board let's just operate like this all right so um here purchase contract all right now purchase now this this particular section tells okay what do you want to be done when uh when uh what do you what exactly do you want to be done all right this at uh, this purchase contract like what you want to be done is you want the uh like what kind of purchase this rise or fall or like when the parameters you have set in frame one works out what do you want to be done do you want it to purchase rise or you want it to purchase fall or you want it to purchase uh the both of them all right so le let's install the frame three uh which is uh so okay so this cell condition we don't really need it all right so uh we might just go straight to add uh, uh frame four which is restart restart and that frame four is just uh trade again trade again so uh this frame four this frame 4 will contain all the conditions that we'll be needing for the port to automatically restart. All the parameters that you would like to add into the coding system is this is where you add it, and this this could contain the largest framework on the platform. All right, 
so now uh now the next place you go to here is uh, you go to uh logic i think everything has been compiled into utility like if you before now if you're using um, uh the binary dot bot and not direct you see logic and then you see mathematics and stuff like that but here everything has been compiled into one frame called utility uh this one is analysis uh contract okay all right so um the next thing that we're going to have to do now is to define variables all right we we'll have to define our variables okay laptop response please now you create your own variables and um, that's one good thing about building a bot here when you create your own variable I mean your own variables when you create your own variable you transcribe it into a, a logic or a mathematical term that could uh, help you con conduct a simple and successful trade okay let's say for instance now uh, let me create what we call inch in I want to have an initial initial amount amount I need to create that now when you create it you can statistically move, move it and keep it here all right and then and then the next thing i want to create next variable is uh continuous trading amount okay i can actually make this them shorter and then i have that i fix that here all right so uh okay so now we have that already so I have initial amount and continuous trading amount and then here I would like to add the logic here since this, I want this bot to operate in two direction then I might have to add a logic here uh, which is uh, a lot of things has been changed in this so I have to move this purchase out and then put it here and then fix this in here and then if okay so so I click here to add else I have to duplicate this one here put it here purchase in the opposite direction now now what this simply means is if this condition condition this condition is uh, uh, valid which the condition will be stated all here will be stated all here if this condition is valid or maybe i could have stated it as well or somewhere around here if this condition is valid then purchase uh, rise else if it's not valid if this condition is not valid then purchase uh, lower so now I have to state this condition here so I'm going to have to go to ticks and candle and then I'm going to uh, click on last digit now if I fix that in there it will enter because it doesn't uh, match anything all right so let me go to mathematics and then i'll choose this and fix this in here hold on variables variables All right, so okay. Uh, that section is mainly for okay, uh, okay variables. I can delete that and rename it though. All right, so okay, I say if uh, initial, then purchase this. Okay, and uh, this is just a simple trading board, so I'm not doing that much in here. 
So here now I have to state a, uh, this condition properly and then I have to do that by adding the ticket and then fixing it here and then I'll say if initial I'll say set initial to now uh, what should happen after trade is what should be in that particular block so uh, uh, so what we are looking for is now is a um, trade result uh, where do we find that trade result contract yeah that's contract trade result okay so we have trade result here and then we can get uh, uh, a logic to fix in there logic okay okay and the logic is saying that if the result is win then set uh, initial amount and then uh, go to logic again no this time around is not logic we are going to variables we are going to variables variables yeah these variables click on this or just add it here now what am i saying i'm saying if if the if the result of the last trade is win then the robot should automatically set the initial amount that is the first amount it took to uh, uh the continuous trading amount which we are going to enter different values and i have to enter a value there so i have to choose this here and then I have to duplicate it, duplicate, duplicate because I need it in three places. Uh, that's I want to enter a mathematics value, so I put initial amount. Okay, uh, I put continuous trading amount there, continuous trading amount, and then this is initial amount, continuous trading amount to be two, and then I put okay initial amount to be initial amount to be five and then here here i just said if the uh, last result was a win then set initial to to continuous trading amount else else it should uh trade again all right most time there are so many logics that could be added here all right so but for this one here for this one here okay some of this block here that are left open here i have to get rid of them get rid of them by deleting all right so uh there delete this one or, or you can just disable if you are going to use it later you can just disable it on the platform so now i haven't done that i could just rearrange it to make it look uh, a bit good so so we have block one block two block one here and block two here and then block three here all right block one is all about what the robot needs to uh, perform a trade block two is an action telling the robot do this all right uh block three is what do the robot do after after a trade has been conducted so let's keep it uh, let's push it up. let's see how it works whether it's going to work unless the message it displays whether it works very well oh it actually worked but it's going on one tick oh no 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 we did not we didn't we are not coding a board or uh, we did not code it on one tick remember we set this initially to five ticks so we need to return it back to five ticks all right put a stop to that all right let's set it to run again now uh watch the first amount it takes 
the first amount is two dollars first tick second tick third tick how much did you first set the initial Oh, 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 there's a, there's a, there's something that we need to do here. And here. Okay. There's something we missed out. And that thing is here. Alright. I'm just being lazy of going to the right place to pick this thing. So, don't mind the way I'm picking it. So, I'm getting rid of this one. This is just what I needed. Alright. My you. It's two dollars as here that's why the bot is continually taking two dollars so this is supposed to be here. it's supposed to be initial all right so now it's instead of taking the two dollars that was here you change the value there to initial so now let's click it now and see how much it will take now you can see the initial now is now five dollars all right so if the algorithm is right if the algorithm is right it will actually go on to take the next amount as this the next smaller amount all right take that again take that again take that again Oh, this one automatically stops after uh, taking that that trade it automatically stops that means our trade again that means our trade again uh, that means this uh, module here okay I have to pause to attend to something so uh, we we'll have to work well on our trade again here so that the next time uh, this uh, this bot takes a trade it will automatically uh, after taking that trade to take another trade so and um, that has to be done here all right so this trade again here is not supposed to be here it's supposed to be down here all right let's leave it there so uh, this whole thing has to operate with a lot of a whole lot of logic. So all right, let's watch this. Uh, that was a win, and then it takes another trade again, and the next time it takes another trade, it continues with the two dollars. All right. So um, that's simply how to uh, build a very simple bot for yourself. But uh, if you are building this, this, this is not. I'm not guaranteeing that this bot is going to make you a whole lot of profit. Please, please, and please. This is uh, users' uh, discretion uh, matters. That's why I mentioned initially that if you're building a bot within this platform, you have to do it uh, on a demo account. You have to do it on a demo account so uh, there's no guarantee of making so much money with this but if you do the right thing then you uh, you know you can make uh, some good money all right so there's no uh, guarantee so uh, to make a good money with uh, this with a bot it has to do with some complex code and you have to add some a lot of complex code and uh, if you want to if I must build a bot here with a lot of complex code to take a whole lot of time, most of you will be bored to watch the video. Alright, so if you want to uh, learn how to code bot, complex bot and everything, then you can check the link below and then jo join um, a tutorial, uh, a, a class that I have organized uh, that teaches you how to build a complex bot already uh, apart from building a bot for yourself to trade for yourself you can build bot on a contract basis for somebody and uh, literally uh, there's a a lot of persons a lot of persons contact me to build bot for them and i must tell you there's a lot of uh, opportunity in building bot 
both uh, from fever from every other places so uh, they just send your strategy their strategy and you build it for them and it doesn't take you anything if you if you understand what i'm going to teach you at uh, that place well enough then you are good to go so but this is just simply how to just uh view the board and you can just play around it all right see you in my next video make sure you subscribe like the video that's the only thing i ask from you in this uh, video thank you see you in my next video